over 30 years, Evangelist Reinhold Duncan has gone throughout Africa and the rest of the world, proclaiming the truth of the gospel. Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus truly loves you. There is a God who loves you. There is a way to know him. The price for your sins and mistakes has been paid. Romans chapter 8 verse 2 For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death are you listening for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death the apostle Paul speaks here about three spiritual laws. Apostle Paul on Saronebi Osi fi ofi ti e mi meta obi hawa. One is the law of sin, the other is the law of death, and the third is let me just give it my own name. It is the law of salvation. Ti a koko o wuni ofi ti e she ikaji o wuni ti ofi ku ikata then somebody we pay of me tea bala. Now I quickly want to describe these three laws to you and explain salvation. What that is so in tumma and what of me say tell you what have you shall lay in bala. We all know laws. No country can exist without laws. Imagine there were no traffic laws. Imagine the carnage on Nigeria's roads. There are laws in nature. There are laws in the universe. Everything is governed by laws. And the Apostle Paul also speaks about laws. But he doesn't speak about physical laws, he speaks about spiritual laws. The law of sin, the law of death, and the law of salvation. Now, how does the law of sin operate? Please listen carefully. How many of you want to know how the law of sin operates? Thank you. I have to draw a parallel to a physical law. There is a law called the force of gravity. That is a law that is functioning in the world. Now I want to ask you a question. If I throw my Bible high into the air, Will the Bible stay up there, yes or no? Of course, no. Why not? Because there is a law in operation called the force of gravity. 
the force of gravity will force the spoke down. This is how the law of sin operates in the spiritual. There is a law in this world called the law of sin which pulls people down if they want it or not. We were all born under this law. So from birth we are sinners and we are being pulled down. People are pulled down to do things they don't like to do. One drunkard said to me, I hate drinking, but I must, I must, I must. There was a power greater than the power of his will. It is the law of sin. It pulls people down. It pulls people down. If there's something in your life that you don't want to do but you cannot stop doing, I tell you, you are under the power of the law of sin. How many of you understand? Amen. Amen. The law of sin pulls us down. Now let me talk about the law of death. How many can see my Bible again? How many can see my Bible? Now listen to me. If I throw up this book, it will come down. Where will it stop falling? Here? Here? Here, Libby. Here, Libby. Where, Libo? At the bottom of everything. And this explains the law of death. The Bible says that death and sin are twin laws. Where sin is, death will follow. But when the Bible speaks about death, it doesn't speak about natural death, it speaks about hell. Sin pulls us down. And hell is the lowest pit. Hell is the eternal destiny of sinners. Now you know about the law of sin and the law of death. Now, I'm glad I finished with sin and death. I now want to speak to you about the third law, which is the law of salvation. The Apostle Paul calls it the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus came into this world and he was crucified, when he shed his precious blood. And when he cried out. It is finished. 
that moment a new law entered this world a law much more powerful than the law of sin and the law of death it was the law of the spirit of life the law of salvation we are no more hopeless because Jesus is our hope and our savior hallelujah this is why the gospel is being preached to tell you you don't need to go to hell because somebody is here to save you look at my bible please look at my bible look at my bible tell me why is this bible now not falling Tell me. Because. Because there is a hand under this Bible. That hand is the law of salvation. That hand is the hand of Jesus. That hand is your great chance in life. That hand was pierced for your sin. That hand is reaching out for you tonight to save you. In a minute, I will pray with those who want to be saved from sin and death. From the power of Satan and demons and witchcraft. And when you call upon the name of Jesus, that very same split second, his hand is coming under you. And when Jesus comes into your life, you're no more falling. Oh, you're no more going down. Oh, down, down. Down, 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 down. You're going up, up, oh, okay. up, 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 okay, 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 up, 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 okay, 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 up, 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 okay, 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 up, 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This is the law of salvation. You will no more go down, you will go up. Your destination is no more hell but heaven. Jesus said you have passed from death to life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And when the trumpet shall sound, you will rise incorruptibly. What a day that will be. If you fell just before you came to this meeting tonight, and you receive Jesus now, and his hand comes under your life. This is what I want to tell you. You will never fall again. Never fall again. Because my Bible says that he is able to keep you from falling. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. No more falling into temptation. 
temptation. That woman. No more falling into sin. Instead, you came from go from victory to victory. Higher. How many of you understand my preaching here? Amen. 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 on you. The fire of God will fall on your head. And you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And with the Holy Spirit you will be superior to anyone with an evil spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If God be for us, who can be against us? Behind me, say Amen! Over there, can you see me? Hey! You are wonderful people. And then, after the Holy Spirit has fallen, although we Jesus is already healing. We are going to pray for the sick and the power of God is going to shake and rock this place. It's not going to be an earthquake. It's going to be a heaven quake on earth. Hallelujah. Tonight the blind will see. Tonight the cripples will walk. Tonight those who are dying with cancer and AIDS receive a new lease of life in the name of Jesus. What was wrong with you, Mister? Where was I? See, I'm not going. Not to be a smear, is it? You're not going to be a smear. That's not to be a smear. Today we're going to be more than just a smear. We're going to be more than just a smear. We're going to be more than just a smear. I'm a good girl, I'm a lot of people. We can't hear you. We got to walk in so deep. A lot of women in here. For the first four months, it has been spread ready. For the points that whatsoever you will have to carry in. Even to go to the toilet, it has to be on the same spot. But right now, by the time he came for the crusade, the hand of the Lord came upon him and he became aware. Hallelujah! Is this his scratch? Is this his scratch? So you only could move with that thing. Do you want to see a march? March, Mr. March, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, come back, anybody? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, Hallelujah! Amen. God bless you. You must be happy. You know, you know, You need to eat good food now to become strong. I don't let me pray for you, Lord, I pray, not just that he walks, but I pray that he may become strong again, and that he will find a job, and that he can work again. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. The Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus, and I bless your sister as well. Go in peace. Mama, what was wrong with you? Mama, what was wrong with you? What was wrong with you? For the past three years, she has been able to see, but today, when she came to this ground, she can now see. Oh! Are you the daughter? Yes. Well, you don't know what. That's me on the letter. You can see the Lord, but I'm not worried. You don't have to see the Lord. So I'm back here. I want to know what you're doing. But I love you. You are so good. I'm good. I'm going to ask you that. She was so silly. She was confirming the same thing that the past three years she had been blind. Now after the prayer, she asked her to open the eyes and she was asking questions. Who are who are standing? This woman was totally blind. And tonight Jesus opened her eyes. Are you happy people of all?
awesome. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mama, can you see me? Mama, can you see me? Can you see me? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and I bless you, sir, in the name of Jesus. Go in peace, your faith has made you whole. Is it true that that ear was deaf from birth? Ask her. She could not hear before. It was with two little ears. Could not hear anything. But when she came into the revival ground, she could hear all that you have been. And when I received my miracle, that's why I came out for. Wow! Praise God! Is that wonderful? Is that wonderful? Hallelujah! Say. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless this dear old lady in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have unstopped her ears in Jesus' name. Go in peace in Jesus' Amen. name. Aren't you glad you took a moment to watch that? Isn't it wonderful what God is doing in so many places around the world? But right now, I want to turn my attention to you, right where you live. Let me ask you again. Do you want to call on the name of Jesus for salvation? That is the first thing and the most important. And maybe you also need a miracle of healing in your body. Jesus is standing by to meet you point of your need. 
Perhaps you have a loved one who is suffering from a sickness where the doctors don't give much hope for recovery. I want to pray with you and for you and also for your family or your loved ones wherever they may be. The great physician is the great savior. Jesus the savior. Jesus the great physician is coming to touch you right now. Please pray together with me this very moment. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, my ear has heard your word. You have said, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. I'm asking you to forgive me my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I now bow my knees before you. Thank you for your promise of rescue and of salvation. I now accept, I now believe that you have entered my life and that I am free, forever free in Jesus Christ. I ask it in Jesus' name and for his glory. Lord, I also pray for my dear friends, no matter what their problems are physically, financially, I pray that you may touch them this very moment, that you may turn the tables and that night comes to light and that bondage turns to freedom. I thank you that the sick be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. For over 30 years, Evangelist Reinhold Bunker has gone throughout Africa and the rest of the world, proclaiming the truth of the gospel. Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus truly loves you. There is a God who loves you.